All right, Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. You know, first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and name His Son, Yahweh Shai. And it's a topic, you know, I don't think it's going to be a long video, but you never know. It's a topic that needs to be spoke on, and the topic is, is abortion murder? You know, because some people say abortion is not murder, but you have some people say it is. So I'm finna come to you, you know, this is probably gonna be the realest video on abortion. You know, cause me read the Bible and me understanding what's going on, you know, it gives you better it gives you better understanding on the topic when you read the once you read the Bible, right? So to I ain't gonna even say to me, it is. Abortion definitely is murder. It is definitely murder. You know, when you have, you know, the baby, it's a, it might, it don't matter how small it is, the baby is still alive and it's still gonna, it's still gonna grow. It's still, it's a seed, it's growing, it's gonna grow. So for you to go to the doctor, get those folks to, you know, kill the baby, you take the baby out, do whatever they do to it, hey, that's murder, bro. That's that's a life. That's a life. And how come when a when a female when a, when a female with a baby die? And they uh, they label it as double double homicide. If it's if there's not a living soul in their stomach, why do if somebody kill that woman and she pregnant, they label it as double homicide? Feel what I'm saying? Because it's murder. America trying to get out. America trying to mess our head up and thinking it's not murder. I'm telling you, America is wicked. Babylon the Great, Book of Revelation, it talks about America. And now people have drunk of the wine of America. So. America got our people thinking that it's okay to commit. It's, it's okay to have abortions. It's okay to have abortions. You you know why? You know you know the you know the main threat that they um that they um that they they going after for abortions is all women. All women is number one on abortions because they know it's just, it ain't no difference. From, it ain't no different from the time of Pharaoh when Pharaoh when Pharaoh had the um when Pharaoh had said it's too many Israelites. Um, all over the land, so they had to kill them. You know, they, they start killing the sons. It ain't no different. They America know America. America like to say um, it's eight billion people on the earth. They don't know how many people are, it is on the earth because the Bible said Israel, the Israelites are like the sand, like it's like the sand of the sea, right? You can't you can't count the sand of the sea. Just like one of my aunts said, I was just watching the video. Um, Brother Jonathan from Sons of Zion Israelite. He like, you you pick up some sand, if you pick up some sand and you try to count it, you're not gonna be able to count that sand. It don't matter how much it is, you're not gonna be able to count it. It's gonna fall through your hands. You have to pick it up again, try to count it again. You can't count that sand. Imagine count, trying to count all the sands on every beach in the world. He said the Bible said we is like the sand to see. You can't count us, you can't number us. So for Esau to say, um, is eight billion people in the land. He don't. He's lying because he don't know how many people it is on the land. Because he he said that we like the sand of the sea. So they understand that we. They understand that it's a lot of us, bro. And they understand how powerful we is. So guess what? They pushing abortion on our women, bro. Our women gotta wake up and understand that. That you gotta wake up and understand what's going on. They main goal is for you to abort your children, bro. Because they understand how many they don't they don't like to see us on the earth, bro. And they understand that it's overpopulated with us. So they what they pushing abortion on our kids. If you don't want to have that baby, boom, commit abortion. Boom, commit abortion. Now that baby gone. Now that's murder. America not gonna say it's murder though. America not gonna say it's murder. You're not gonna go to jail for that. You're not gonna get punished for that. But in the Most High eyes, in the Heavenly Father eyes, that's murder, bro. Then he say, then the Most High say, be fruitful and multiply. So why are you why are you killing your child? Why are you killing your baby? And he just and he said, be fruitful and multiply. You put you doing the, we was doing the right thing at first. That's why we were the center of the sea. We was listening to what he was saying, you know. And then we start being fruitful and multiplying. Now our females want to commit adultery. I mean, it's so like you commit abortion. Now it's being less and less of us on the earth. Now it's a, it's all a trick. It's trickery. They know what they're doing, bro. Just imagine this. Just imagine this. Just imagine how bad our race going down, right? The police killing us. You know, the other nations killing us, right? We also killing ourselves in the streets. Then we turn around and go, um, go to the abortion clinic, and then we abort our children. Look how many people of us missing, bro. We killing each other. The other nations killing us, and the police all them. Then our babies ain't even getting a chance to live because we're aborting them. You know how many of us is getting you know how many of us is losing? 
I mean, how many uh, people that we lose in our nation? We doing that? All three of them going on? You know how many of us is lo we losing? It's all a trick. They know what's going on, but it will all change. It will all change once we keep these laws and commandments that's in this book, bro. Once we start keeping what's in this book, abortion won't happen because most most people commit abortion. You know, and that's also that's also the it's also the easy way out. It's kind of the escape for our, for our women because you know they want to go out here and whore, keep it in the book. I'm gonna keep it a stack. Like I said, this, I'm gonna keep it a stack in this video. I ain't hiding nothing. I ain't finna sugarcoat nothing. I'm gonna keep it real because this 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 a problem for our nation and it's really what's going on. Our sisters want to go out here and be whores, be harlots, and then they get pregnant. They they doing one night stands, then they get pregnant, and then oh like, oh um, uh, I, can't, I can't afford this baby. I can't I can't afford to take care of this baby because the dude done left. He was only looking at you to hit. He wasn't looking at you to stay with you and make a marriage with you. He didn't even know you. It's a one night stand. So therefore, he left you. Now you understanding that if he ain't in the house, you def he you definitely ain't gonna be able to do it by yourself. So guess what? You go to the abortion clinic. You abort that baby. Then you, then you do the same thing over and over again, hoping that you won't get pregnant again. That's what our females doing. That's off. That's off. But if you keep, if you just keep what's in the Bible, man, if all of us, if every single Israelite keep what's in the Bible, keep these commandments, hey, it wouldn't, it was, it wouldn't even be no abortion clinic. If we just keep these commandments and laws, it wouldn't even be no abortion clinic. Period. It wouldn't even be no abortion clinic. Now, are you asking why? If, if we keep everything in the Bible, what you mean it won't be no abortion clinic? Because you're keeping the law, right? And we teach the court. We court with somebody. If you court with somebody, you're not going to commit no one-night stand with somebody. If you court, you're getting to know that person. Instead of committing that one-night stand, you're getting to know that person. You be, you you building up a relationship with them. So, so if you lay with him, you know what I'm saying, now y'all married. So even if you kind of get pregnant, you know that he not going to leave you. And you know he going to, you know, you know, he, he you know, he going to provide for you and um, look after you because he know his, he know his uh, role in being a man. But these brothers that's getting these sisters pregnant and leaving, they, they don't know. They not a man. They, they, they just, they, they acting like niggas. But the sister understand, we keep these laws, we understand we want flesh now. We lay down together. We want flesh now. So even if the, the brother lay with the sister and she get pregnant, you know, she not going to commit no abortion because he not going to let her. Even if she think about it, he not going to let her do that because he's going to be like, no, we got this. We got this. We can't do this. We can't commit no ab abortion. That's that's murder. He They understand what's going on instead of for, instead of our people not reading the Bible. They going out here, laying with each other. Sister get pregnant. She trying to commit abortion. That's off. It's off, but our people not understanding what's going on. Just imagine you go to the abortion center, right? You go to the abortion center, you commit an abortion, right? You killing your child. Hey, that child could have been a that child could have grew up to be a king, a mighty brother in this truth. You know he could have he could have um grew up have you know I I, I sister to my they, you know the sister said they want to be rich, right? He could have grew up and have millions. But you don't know because you killed them. That sister can grow up and be a princess. She could have been a doctor. She could have looked out for her people. You don't never know because you're killing them. Before they, they can't even, they, 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 and they can't even decide. You're not giving them a chance to live. You feel what I'm saying? So abortion definitely is murder. Abortion is definitely murder. And it, to stop abortion, all we had to do is keep the law, statutes, and commandments that, that's in the book. It wouldn't even be no abortion clinic. They are they are shut they are, they are shut they clean it down right now if we start keeping these commandments because our people our women gonna stop you know first and foremost they are gonna start having sex with anybody they gonna stop them one night stands they gonna understand that they can't do it that's off that's adultery that's a um that's um 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 that's um it's like I just got a uh, um a blank thought that's um a, not abortion but um damn I just had a I just had a blank thought I don't know. Um, it's lust, it's lust, yeah, but that ain't the word I'm looking for, it's lust, it's, a, you know, some, it is a boy, it is a adultery too, because they be doing it with other people, but that's, um, let me get, let me get my book, Wait, get, let, me, let me pull it real quick, let me pull it real quick, I, I just had a, um, a blank thought, I had it in my head, but then when I finna say it, it kind of went away, that's say it, that's, um, it's like, it's like, that's, uh, There's definitely less, and um, I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to get the word real quick. Why even, you know, 
But if I can't find it, I, I'm finna get it right here, matter of fact. Let me go ahead and get it. All right. Fornicator. See? Man. Fornication. Con, con. Fornication. I knew that. It's fornication. When you go and when you go and having sex with, other, with all the other women and all the other and dudes doing it with the females, that's fornication. So if we understand that we can't commit fornication, we will not be out here sleeping with other people. And then when, when sisters get pregnant, they will not be regretting that. You feel what I'm saying? They will not. They will not be regretting that. And I understand this too. I understand some sisters, you know, probably get raped in this thing and they get pregnant. Now that's now that's tough. But in the day, you still have to keep that child. If you trust in the Most High, just know the Most High control every single thing. He control everything. So, hey, man, you have to still keep that child. Because at the end of the day, you still remember that's murder. If you still kill that child, that's still murder. It might not be murder in America's eyes. You're not going to go to jail for that. You know, because America wicked as hell, and they cool with that. But in the Most High, in the Creator's eyes, hey, man, you a murderer. You, you killed that baby, bro. You a killer. But our people, our sisters do. That. Our sisters be doing what they want to do, though. They feel like, um, you know, they feel like they their own god. I, a lot of our sisters put themselves as being their own gods. They put themselves on a high pedestal. You feel what I'm saying? So you can't really tell them nothing. So really, they doing that, and you tell them they killing their baby. They're not gonna hear that because they going off what America's saying. They 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 going off them not going to jail for doing it. So they ain't gonna say it's murder because they understand if you kill somebody. You know, actually stab somebody, you on the jail for that. So they're going to be like, that's not murder because I, I ain't going to jail for it. I ain't getting no consequences for it. Um, they just allowed me, they just killed my baby. And I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't getting, I ain't getting no punishment for it. So they're going to look at it as that. But deep down inside, if you know in the most high eyes, you know that's murder, bro. You killing, you killing the king, bro. You killing the king. If you understood what you was killing, you wouldn't kill it. You killing a king. Sisters, you killing a princess, bro, of Zion, a daughter of Zion. You killing a king, that, that you, bro, you killing a king, an Israelite man, and you hurting our nation. And when I say nation, I ain't talking about America. I'm talking about our nation, the nation of Israel. You was hurting our nation because you keep aborting our child and you breaking us down. We more mighty when we when it's more of us. When people when people went to war, they want to have more people. You didn't want to go to war with less people. Cause more likely, more likely you was gonna lose. But the Israelites, you know, we did that all the time. But the most I looked out for us. But the other nations, they went out there with less people. They was gonna lose. They was gonna lose. So and also people want more people in their uh, army to intimidate people, right? So the more people we got, you know, the more the more powerful we is, bro. But and the more stronger we is as well. But if you keep aborting the babies and stuff, we ain't gonna never be a strong nation no more. You keep doing that, we are gonna start being lower and lower and lower. And if we keep doing that, Lord forbid. But if but if we hit if but if we hit twenty twenty no I say twenty fifty, the year twenty fifty or or the year twenty sixty, we might be below the other nations, bro. We gonna be if we keep abort if these women keep aborting their child the way they doing, we are gonna be, bro, at the bottom. It's gonna be little and little of us of us. So the main plot of the so-called white man is, yes, them, because they over this. The, the, the main plot on the so-called white man is to get the so-called black woman to abort their child. They don't care about the other nations aborting their child. They already low. They, it ain't really, especially white people, they keep aborting their child. They, they, they already low, the lowest race. I think more, more babies are dying than being born with them. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't really worried about them. They worried about because if they was worried about their people, they would have been like, okay, our baby, more babies are dying than being born. So we need to stop committing. We need to stop this abortion stuff because we understand that our females need to stop doing this abortion stuff because we are already low. If they really care about their people, they would have thought like that. They would have stopped the abortion clinic because they people going to it. But they continue to allow it to go. Why? Because our females going to it, and that's their biggest threat. That what they, that what they trying to attack. Our females committing abortions. They're trying to attack that so it can be less, fewer and fewer of us, you know what I'm saying, um, on this earth. They're trying to do that, bro. You got to understand these people hate you, bro. And if you understand these people hate you, you can you understand this would not be it's like it. If you understand these people hate you, then it won't be hard to be like, okay, this makes sense because it's the truth. You know, a lot of people talk about abortion. They go off their, they go off their emotions. They start getting emotional, start crying, or they start yelling. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. Some people try to sugarcoat. I'm gonna keep it real. 
I'm gonna keep it real. And folk, I'm gonna keep it real. Folks be like the black woman God, right? You know them, them, them so called conscious brothers, the black woman God. How's the black woman God? She was born in all these, you know, how much was it? I forgot how much the brother just said in the video, but it's a lot. It's the black woman God. You feel what I'm saying? So that's something that we need to come together and realize that we need to come together and stop abortion. You know, America gonna push it, America gonna say it's okay because it's wicked. But you know, the brothers, the men of the Lord, you know, the, the sisters of the Lord, they understand this murder, bro, and it's hurting our nation. We seeing it, we see, we seeing what's going on. We're looking ahead of time. Our people looking at our, most of our people looking in the moment right now. But we're looking ahead of time how our people gonna be if we continue to do this. We're looking ahead. We looking ahead and then how it's going, we ain't gonna we might be extinct. Extinct doing this if we keep doing this, bro. So we gotta stop killing our kings, bro. We got we gotta stop killing our kings. We gotta stop killing our princesses and realize who he is, bro. And come back to this book. We come back to this book. It ain't gonna be no more abortions. I promise you. If everybody in it, if all the Israelites come back to the book and keep these laws and commandments, I promise you, it ain't gonna be no more abortions. They're gonna have to close it down. Because we're not gonna go to the abortions. We're not gonna go to the clinics. Cause the men gonna the, the females gonna start committing um fornication. They're going to stop doing that. Then they're going to they're gonna start courting. They're going to start courting, getting, getting to know the person before they lay with them. And then go back to the rape part. You know, there going to be no more rape. If they keep the law, it ain't going to be no more raping. If we just come back to the law. So it ain't going to, hey, the sister ain't going to really think they got to commit adultery. If they get raped because it ain't going to be no more raping. It ain't going to be no more fornication. It ain't going to be no more lust. It ain't going to be no more adultery going on. You know, sometimes the sisters get, sometimes the sisters be married, then they have sex with somebody, somebody else on the slide, then she get pregnant from that dude, then she feel like she don't want, she don't want that baby because it ain't from her husband, so she go commit um, abortion. It's all folly, bro. It, all, it's getting, it's getting our women off the hook. Then they go back and do the same thing. You feel what I'm saying? That's what it is. That's, that, that's exactly what it is. So this is my video talking about uh, abortion, man. Our people got to come out of this thing, bro. We got to come out of abortion and realize that it's definitely indeed murder. Think about it. You, It's a baby inside your stomach that you is killing a living, a living life, a living seed. It don't matter how big it is. It's still in your stomach alive. And you you got to be bugged out in your mind to think abortion is not murder. You got to be like really messed up in your head to think abortion is not murder. It's clearly, it's definitely murder, bro. It's definitely indeed murder. So we gotta come back to the law, statutes, commandments, start keeping it, start keeping what's in the book. You know, get ourselves right and build our nation up. That's the goal, man. And it, and Lord willing, it's coming real soon. Our nation gonna get built up real soon. A lot of our people coming back, you know, understanding who they is now. So fewer and fewer people are gonna com gonna be committing abortion now because it's a time right now that we're supposed to be waking up, brute two and thirty. It tells you. You know what I'm saying? We're going to wake up in the land of our captivity. So right now, this time right now, you're going to start seeing us waking up more. So there's going to be fewer and fewer people going to the abortion clinic. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's going to go. So this but the king, I want to give all honor and glory to the heavenly father, Yahweh, and name his son, Yahweh Shah. I say Shalom. Stop abortion 2021. Stop it.